majority of guys that I work now are, uh, you know, they're using other stuff besides that. And, uh, you know, so it's not, it's not all nostalgic. And the nostalgic part is great. I enjoy it. It's fun. I really enjoy talking about circuitry to modify and, and keep the older stuff alive. However, it's no longer the majority based on the operating and logging here at W2 Very Week. That's my commentary for the day. Thanks for putting up with it. <clears throat> and uh, hope you have a great uh, trip back. And thanks for uh, trying to get the recording. Or no big deal. No, uh, no big deal. I, I know there's a difference, and uh, I really haven't done any station maintenance here in a year, so I really need to get get uh, myself into that. And I really, 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 really miss my SDR uh, dongle so that I can look at the uh, pan adapter, which of course I don't have here. There's no IF out jack. So I'm going to make an IF out jack for the first IF. So I'm gonna start looking at um, source follower schematics. And I think an MPF 102 will do it. I was looking at uh, ICOM R70 schematic the other day and uh, I see that's exactly what they've done except I didn't see what the device was. Simple enough, even for this guy, even a caveman could do it. And then we'll be back in business with the uh, with the SDR, and I'll probably continue to use uh, TS-440s now for a while until I fire up the Johnson 500 again. Then the 440 will be the receiver. So good running into you, uh, Glenn, and uh, hopefully I'll hear some other fantastic uh, QSOs of yours here. I'll let you run 7-3 for now, and I will uh, listen out. Thanks for the fine uh, chat. EA5-G810OF uh, uh, from W2VW.